Some scientists believe our own freeze response in dangerous situations. Like during assaults or accidents, maybe an evolutionary cousin to animal thanatosis. Our bodies, too, may instinctively play dead in moments of ultimate fear. Of course, not all animals are capable of this trick. It takes a certain kind of brain wiring and environmental pressure. Species that rely heavily on camouflage or active escape have less need for such dramatic deception. But for smaller, more vulnerable animals, especially those low on the food chain, this behavior becomes a vital survival tactic. Some species, like certain frogs and lizards, can even switch between camouflage, rapid escape, and playing dead depending on the nature of the threat. It's an adaptive toolkit. You gauge the environment in an instant and choose the best card to play. And sometimes, death is the winning hand. In the wild, survival doesn't always go to the fastest or the strongest. It often goes to the most convincing liar. And in the theater of life and death, some of the best actors don't even move. They sell the illusion through stillness, stench, and subtlety. It's a brutal game, but one that works. So how do predators ever learn not to fall for it? Some don't, but others evolve too. There's evidence that certain predators have learned to test dead prey nudging, biting lightly or waiting nearby to see if movement resumes. This predator-prey arms race continues, evolving on both sides. What once worked flawlessly may now require extra layers of deception. In captivity, animals sometimes play dead even when there's no threat. It's a sign of stress or confusion, showing that the instinct is so deeply embedded, it can activate under unnatural conditions.